Hey guys, E here. So, um, I am back as promised and I have 15 items that you should add to your list um, in order to search for a remodel. And we are going to talk about and I'm going to show you um, searching for a remodel and finding a remodel. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. So we, first of all, if you did not watch the last video as far as scanning and adding things to your list, then you need to go back and you need to watch that video um, because this one I have already pre-scanned these into my list to make it easier. So we're not going to go through that. Um, so go back to that last video if you need to know how to scan. Um, I had mentioned uh, in one of the videos about the dollar section that usually um, a lot of it goes. So I wanted to give you an example of what I was talking about. Um, it's not the actual dollar aisle, but it's this little section where everything is in black and yellow boxes or black and yellow packaging, and they're all marked a dollar. So... Um, definitely go to that section in your store and scan all of those. They don't go every remodel, but I have definitely seen them go in a number of remodels. So there's that one. And we can go ahead and I didn't write this one down. I'm actually just going to read you a list to make it faster and easier. So this one, 846-145-027706. But really just go scan that whole section, okay? Um, as we talked about, too, um, core products versus seasonal products. Um, when you are in a remodel, we are not going for seasonal products. If they have tags on them with symbols um, where they're summer or they're spring or they're winter or fall, we're not going for those items. Um, same with shoes. You'll notice that um, they have a number of shoes and shoes with a number of different symbols. But they also have a shoe section that is considered core. And those, um, it's obviously the slides and then there's some black and red tennis shoes, I believe. But anyways, um, I encourage you to scan that section. Um because these, as you can see, they don't have any kind of symbol or anything. And there's other shoes in that section. And I have seen a lot of those go during, during a remodel. So make sure you're scanning those to add to your list to watch. Um, I'll go over the SKUs at the end. But um, a number of socks and underwear seem to go. Um, again, this is all dependent on the store. Is it a full remodel? Is it a partial remodel? That's why the larger list that you have, the better um, prepared you're going to be as far as what items you know are going for a penny if they're not marked. Um, underwear, one thing I know to keep an eye out for is the long leg so they're actually longer than the typical ones. I don't know if every size goes. That's another thing with the underwear. Some sizes go, some don't. So pay attention to the long leg. And the wicking cool dry. And these I have in medium and large, which these are from leftovers, basically. I went late, so the small. The smalls may also be part of it. I had mentioned before um, weight, and actually I just noticed um, these socks, women's socks, also the wicking. So I would say that is a theme to pay attention to. And these are the multicolored ankle socks. Um, I had said to pay attention to the big and tall. 
Um, those are going to be at the very bottom of the hanging racks. And I believe it's these and a package of white. I'm not sure if it's the crew or the ankle. But anyway, you're scanning the big and talls. Same with um, the picture sets. Um, I posted pictures on the Facebook page. Make sure that you're going um, and liking the Facebook page and following it. Uh, link is below because I posted pictures of a store that was getting ready to remodel and they had a ton of things marked, which makes it awesome to know what to look for um, in stores that don't have things marked. So I encourage you to look at those pictures and go to your store and just scan those items. Any of the picture, um, three pieces, five pieces, there's boxes of sets, any of those typically go. Um, it seems to be like 90% of the pictures and picture frames go. So be scanning those. And then these are just more picture frames that go. Same with our memories picture frame. Okay, now um, we're going to talk, talk. Now we're going to talk about looking for that remodel. And as you can see, I already have the things scanned. Um, and I have them in my list. I did not mean to do this. This is the difficult part, trying to do this. Okay, so I have my list just to get started. Um, I do have a couple of those um, penny items that we had already talked about. And look at that. Supposedly, they have them. Um, so this is just a regular store. And I've checked, and they just have normal pricing. So you can see what the regular pricing of the items we just talked about. Okay. And they have some penny items, so that's cool. All right. Now, I want to find a remodel, though. So I'm not going to pay attention to those penny items right now. Um, so I'm going to go up here where it says Change Store. And basically, I'm just going to start picking. I'm going to start looking. So we're going to expand this, and we're just going to go ahead and pick this one and see what's happening here. Make sure you always click Make This My Store, because otherwise you'll end up in a store with the wrong store marked, and it's very disappointing when the prices are wrong and your cart is full. So this one, it looks like I can tell... Um, has probably already remodeled because these pictures, they're already at zero. So um, basically, zero means there aren't any, okay? Um, it doesn't mean that they're a penny. It doesn't mean that it, there's, um, I believe the glitch is fixed. Um, zero just means they don't have any there, okay? And based on all of these being zero, these pictures, I'm going to guess they've already done their remodel. And some of these items have went back and been reset full price. So... That one, not interested in. So I'm going to go back up to change store. We're going to look at another one. So let's see what's going on at this one. Looks like we got a lot of zeros again. Yep. Well, I mean, they've got some penny items, but nope. Nothing exciting there. see about this one looks like this one's full price so this store hasn't remodeled it does have the items and they are full price looks like they also have penny items though so these stores may be good to hit just for regular penny items okay so nothing exciting there Let's go ahead and pick this one. Don't worry. I totally have this planned. Sort of. 
Okay. Okay, now that's what we were looking for. You'll notice our $4 frame is two, our $2.50 frame is $1.25, our $6 picture frame is three, our $10 set is five. We don't have any of the slides. Our underwear dropped from eight something down to four. Our socks are usually five and three dollars. They're down to two fifty and a dollar fifty. We have found a remodel. Now, on my phone, I have a much longer list, and that's why I encourage you. I posted pictures. Um, get your list added to so that you can really, you know, compare. But that's basically how I find a remodel. Um, there's remodels everywhere, I believe, right now. Um, major cities, suburbs, just, I don't know. Um, I start searching in my immediate area, work my way out, and check major cities and just kind of cruise around. So I um, hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I will think about um, any other things that might help. Always um, remodel reminders. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you scope it out ahead of time if you're close enough to. Okay. Um, make sure that you have a charged phone and backups. Make sure you have a charging block, hopefully two charging blocks. Um, make sure that you take grocery bags, your Ikea bags, your Aldi bags, um, black contractor trash bags. A lot of times the carts are gone. Make sure that you have another way to carry things. Um, Make sure you have a game plan, what areas you want to hit first, second, third, and you have backups to that. You're not going to be able to get everything that you want. Um, it's going to be chaos, most likely, so make sure you have a game plan. And, of course, always be nice. Be nice to the managers, the employees, the other penny shoppers, the random shoppers. Always be nice. Okay, that's it for now. I hope that helps. Thanks, guys.